No matter what they find out about the motivations of the killer at Club Q, there is a huge danger in this growing notion that the LGBT community promotes pedophilia. Pedophiles have tried to infiltrate the gay community, especially pride festivals, since we've had pride festivals, and we've always managed to keep them out. One of the most known pedophile organizations that have tried to weasel their way into the gay community has been NAMBLA, which thankfully doesn't exist anymore. But now that there's this growing notion that drag equals pedophiles, that simply teaching that gay people exist is pedophilia and grooming, you know, that, that public school teachers are groomers, yeah, the LGBT community is having to fight against a whole shit ton of bad stereotypes that we had hoped were just relics. But now it seems to be back in full force. Quite frankly, the disgust I'm seeing towards the community is much frothier than I remember in the 90s. Instead of watching people become more accepting as it has normally been, I'm watching the reverse of this. And it concerns me a lot. And I'm not really sure how to address this. I think public elementary schools should leave a whole number of subjects to the parents, since people are always going to disagree on how to teach those things. And I think the LGBT community needs to realize that the majority of the populace views drag as an adult art form. It's for adults. That's how most people view it. Whether that's the way it should be or not, it doesn't really matter. The public views it as an adult art form, for the most part. Let's hope we can find a way to stop the hate from spreading. Thanks for watching.